Oh, Rise of Skywalker pre-sales record proves fan boycott was an empty threat. Well, you see, you know, A, there was a fan boycott, and B, what are your actual numbers here? Because when you claim that there is a record, you need to give us an actual number. You can't just, you can't just use something like the analogy of, you know, hey, I just turned on this arcade machine and I got the high score, therefore I won the world record. Because yes, you got the record because you were the only person who ever played the game. Yeah, you got the record until the next thing comes along and beats it. Because we all know that Adam Tickets are, in fact, owned by Disney. They are owned by Disney. You've got J.J. Abrams on the board. Not only that, Rise of Skywalker, if, if you look at this article here, it's got the lowest box office tracking of a whole Disney trilogy. So, so which is it? Which, which, what thing are we supposed to believe? Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. I am just now hearing of this boycott, uh, and I'm one of the, the OG fan menace people, right? I mean, you, you'd think we would have talked about this on the High Council or something. I have not heard of this. I personally have not bought a ticket for this movie because it looks like shit. It looks like crap. I don't care about a whole bunch of CGI. I don't care about a bunch of new characters. And that is what's important here. You have Star Wars characters barely featured in Star Wars. Star Wars was Luke, Leia, Darth Vader, you know, Han Solo. Well, who, who cares about those characters? Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. And you know what? Fine. I'll stay home. I'll go watch Star Wars at home, at the comfort of my own home, without having to deal with some asshole on their cell phone, shining their light in there. But, but here's the thing. They're already out on full force with these counter propaganda articles, right? Or they're just propaganda at this point. They're not even counter propaganda at this, at this point. But they, they like to put this this narrative that Adam Tickets broke all these records. Fandango, the one people actually use and have heard of, isn't reporting jack crap. You know, and, and that's what it is. That is what it is. It is saying that, yes, five people bought Avengers Endgame tickets from Adam Tickets and six people brought Wise of Skywalker tickets. Oh my God, it's a record. That is what they're basically telling us because without numbers, we have no idea. Not only that, if it were really, really breaking records, like people say it was, why is it tracking the lowest? Why is it tracking the lowest? No, because because that's what they're doing. They're just putting out all this in full force. How, oh no, Star Wars has always been divisive. Star Wars is breaking records. Your boycott's not doing anything. The next thing, what's the, what's the next one? You're going to tell us all we're a bunch of uh, uh, ists, a bunch of racist, sexist, man, baby, cousin, humping, basement dwellers. Is that what you're going to say? You're going to pull up Kelly Marie Tran again? Because I have her article right here. And I'm doing a video on this. We're revisiting this. Kelly Marie Tran was bullied by the media and Hollywood themselves, not by fans. She says, the media, Hollywood, companies that profited from my insecurities. That's who she was talking about. I'm trying to cram a lot of this into like the first five minutes because I know nobody watches more than four minutes. That is, that is what we're really dealing with here. We are dealing with this narrative that... Star Wars is doing better than it actually is. And that's great. That's great. Because, you know, normal people, they're going to be going about their lives. They're going to be just seeing the headlines. It'll pop up on their phone. They're not going to care that much. And a lot of the times, even the people that do, they don't have time to sift through all this. And that is what they're counting on. And you know what? You guys don't have to sift through all of this. That's what we're here for. That's what the fandom menace is all about, is sifting through the bullshit so you guys don't have to. And this this stuff is just it's just propaganda to make this movie seem bigger than it's going to be because you know yeah it broke records it sold six tickets instead of five in that first hour only in the first hour as well as what they're reporting and we've done countless videos on this time and time again we've done between myself midnight's edge i know i know everybody in the fandom mess has pretty much done a video on adam tickets so we know what adam tickets is really like and about and we know that they're owned by disney and 20th century fox under disney now so whatever this this boycott they're talking about here, we don't know because I've never heard of it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. With with the the box office, I'm going to say it's going to come in somewhere between Force Awakens and 
The Last Jedi just because of the prequel trilogy. I'm using an educated guess because episode one did really, really well. Episode two, not nearly as well. Episode three, somewhere in the middle. And that is what I believe is going to happen with this box office. Now, whether they're going to buy their own tickets this time, who knows? What they're doing is they're trying their best to get people to see it multiple times. They're giving collectible things. Oh, I can't miss out on this collectible thing. We're, we're kind of at the point where, I, well, I'm not buying Star Wars stuff anymore. Are you guys still buying Star Wars stuff? I didn't even buy a ticket to this. And that's mostly because, well, you've spent the last few years telling me, let the past die, kill it if you have to. And I'm sorry, Star Wars was always this thing where you spend the holidays with with family. You know, you, that's how it's been marketed to me. You spend the holidays with the, the you know, the, the Skywalker family. Spend it with, the, you know, of, oh, the, your, your family a few uh, and a few new faces once they start adding the prequel trilogy in. And I remember wanting to go home early from whatever family holiday function just to go home and watch Star Wars. And say, okay, can we get back by the time they start replaying Star Wars from the beginning, from we you know from Star Wars, and then Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi? Yeah, I'm an old person. I still call it Star Wars. I don't call it New Hope because I grew up calling it Star Wars, and that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing that's going to hurt this is that you are showing up to a family get together where it's all new people. It's all second cousins and grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, mom, dad, brothers and sisters. They're all gone, but it's all a bunch of second cousins that you don't know telling you that you're wrong and you're a sexist, racist man, baby, and telling you that you bully people off of social media. And that's what this is. And this is why I'm not going to see this in the theater, unless somebody really, really wants to give me like a ticket to something else and just say, hey, we're going to sneak into Star Wars, then I might. But you know, I don't want to see this in the theater. I really, really don't. <sighs> it's just oh, so frustrating with this narrative every five seconds. So empty boycott. So, uh, you know, what? maybe we should boycott. They're telling me we should. I mean, they're telling me we have one. So do, do we want to just boycott it? What do you think? Give them, you know, say, give them a whole a Joker treatment. You get what you deserve, Star Wars. I'm tired of this crap. Are you guys tired of this? I am MechaRandom42. Like, subscribe, share this video. And I will see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!